So, in the beginning, uh, just please introduce yourself for our viewers who haven't had the opportunity to learn what you do. My name is Mark Rebo, and I'm here with Los Cubanos Postizos, the prosthetic Cubans. Uh, so, I've been watching you, I saw you, you're a lefty, right? Ah, yes, you play, pay close attention. But you play a right-hand guitar, how did you learn? That, well, you know, there's two stories about that. I, it, it didn't occur to me uh, until I was already playing professionally that everybody else played, you know, right-handed people. Well, the left-handed people usually play the other way around. So I asked my guitar teacher why he hadn't taught, changed the strings on my guitar and taught me left-handed. And he said it was because my mother had told him that I was only pretending I was left-handed to annoy her and that, you know, I shouldn't, he shouldn't give in to this trick. And then, so um, I asked my mother and he said, she said, no, that's not true at all. Um, it was because my guitar teacher was too lazy to change the strings on my guitar and he figured I'd quit in a week anyways. And I think they were probably both telling the truth. Okay. So you seem like a very humorous guy and you obviously have uh, much fun um, doing tours and stuff like that. Yeah. Any f uh, funny stories from the recent tour? Well, this is the first date of this tour, so this right now is the funniest story that I can... <laughs> The sound check is the best story since basically I just got here a few hours ago. But don't worry, ask me in a couple hours and I'm sure I'll have many more funny stories of Maribor. Los Cubanos Postizos in Maribor. So, um... Did I pronounce it correctly? Oh, okay, good. Um, do you perceive the guitar as an extension of your arm or of your mind? Well... Most of us guitarists perceive it as the extension of another part of our bodies. <laughs> but, um, you know, at different times it can be many different things. I, it's, it's like an entirely other part of my body that is neither, doesn't fall into that kind of uh, mind-body distinction. But a lot of times when I'm playing guitar, I imagine myself to be playing a saxophone or some other instrument. So or a drum, uh, so, you know, yeah, maybe in a sense it's mental. You've worked with loads and loads of great people. John Scofield was here a few days ago, oh, yeah. you worked with him. What was your favorite collaboration? Uh, maybe a story. Chuck Berry. I backed up Chuck Berry a long time ago um, in New York. We used to back him up. I was in a band um, called, called the, well, it was called the Real Tones and later the Uptown Horns. and. When Chuck Berry would come into town, or different R&B or early rock people, we would back them up. And so that was my favorite, uh, I don't know if it's a story, but it was my favorite experience was being on stage with Chuck Berry. Amazing power. Well, one of my favorite artists, if not the one, is uh, Tom Waits. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so you've been working with him since the Rain Dogs album, and uh, how's he like? He's great to work with because, you know, it's funny because a lot of people, um, if they call me for a record date, they kind of, in some, even if they're smart enough not to say it, they want me to sound like I played on a Tom Waits record. But Tom Waits never wants me to sound like I sounded on a Tom Waits record. You know, so he's, he's great to work with. He's, he's always cool with the musicians and, um, you know, um, uh, and has a lot. Of, he has a lot of ideas, but he lets he lets the musicians put out their ideas, and then he kind of will lean on more towards one or the other. But he's always cool to work. With. Yeah.
Wait.